Oh, hey there. I was just reading the news. It's crazy how fast paced our world is right now in IT security. And this is why it's super important to stay up to date all the time. And today I want to show you four different categories of media, how you can stay informed on a daily basis. But before I'm going to do that, I want to talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. And this is sponsored by Typhoon Khan. Typhoon Khan is a conference hosted by SSD Secure Disclosure and it was first hosted in Seoul in 2018. Last year, unfortunately, due to COVID, it was only held as a very successful online event. But guess what? This year it's coming back with its own CTF. And I want to invite you to register at the Typhoon Khan CTF this year, which is going to take place on Monday, July 12th and it's going to end on July 15th, Thursday. And there are going to be a lot of really exciting reverse engineering and vulnerability research challenges. And you want to make sure to register because you can win something. First place gets $3,000, second place gets $2,000 and I think by now you've guessed it, third place gets $1,000. And on top of that, there's also a pool of $2,500 worth of additional merch and prices. So make sure to check it out, register down below in the description. And yeah, I wish you the best. Go win this thing and let me know if you want. So let's start by looking at the four categories that I have specified. And if we have a look, we do have formal organized, we do have formal chaotic, we do have casual organized, and we do have casual chaotic. And this is not something that you will find somewhere on the internet, it's just my categories that I came up with. And a little disclaimer here, I will put like my sources in those four boxes right now. But those are not the only sources out there, right? There's a ton of material on the internet how you can find news that are suitable for you. But I just wanted to put mine that I want to share with you into those boxes. And what does it mean? So formal organized is when, for me, it's when, when it is curated and the articles are written by the companies themselves. Formal chaotic is when it's not written by or researched by the companies themselves, but it's still coming in in like, in, in like a formal way in the style of that specific company. On the other hand, we have the casual ones. We have casual organized, which for me is when the content is not written by the companies, but it's still like nicely put down in the form of a blog, for example, where you can just walk over all the content that is provided and find something that is really informative for you. And then last but not least, we do have casual chaotic, what to me mean, means that it's not really curated and you don't really have control of what's coming in. It's like a flood of information and you gotta pick what you like to read. All right, we are going to start with formal organized. So let's have a look. I'll just give you a couple of good media outlets that you can read like a newspaper. So let's start with the register. Then we do have Threat post. Then another good one is the Hacker News. And to finalize my selection, we have Port Swiggers, the Daily Swig. Next up, we do have Formal Chaotic. And I want to talk about CVE feeds in this category. And what is CVE standing for? CVE stands for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, which means vulnerabilities that have been found by somebody out there in the world, and you cannot really predict when they're coming in. This is why I'm calling them 
chaotic. It's like a broadcast. And let's look at the websites that you can use to gather that information. And I want to start with the US American CERT. CERT obviously standing here for Computer Emergency Response Team. Next up, I do have the feed of the Australian CERT. And last but not least, we do have the feed of MITRE.org, which is my preferred website for looking at publicly known CVEs out there in the world. Category number three in my case classification is casual organized. And with casual organized, once again, I mean that it's curated, but the articles and blog posts themselves, they're not written by the companies themselves. It's a collection of really good pieces that was put together by a person and multiple people at a specific company. And I want to highlight two over here right now that I really much like. And I want to start with Integrity's Bug Bites by Pandas the Lamp. And the other one that I personally really like and read a lot is the blog by Daniel Niesler. And this brings us to our last category already. And the last one is casual chaotic. And in that category, for me, there's really just one really important media. If you are in InfoSec or computer security or name it whatever you want, and that's Twitter, everything that you need to read, need to find, need to know all the news, they will be eventually posted by somebody at Twitter. And with that, you already guess or hear what I'm saying that you will have to look for it. It's chaotic. You got to follow the right people. There is smart people out there who are going to post it, but you need to find them. And this is the difficult part on Twitter. And my tip for you is go ahead and, for example, look at my people, the one at Pascal Sack is following. That's the people that I really like and their information is coming up in my feed. And what you could do right now is you could go to my list, click on all the people that I follow, see if you like them and follow them if you like the content. Just check out the like last 15 to 20 posts. And then from there on, you can say, oh, I really like this one reverse engineer. Let's see who this person is following. Maybe this person is following 20 other reverse engineers and you can move on from there. And it will take you a little while, but after a little bit of time, you will have a really good list of people that you're going to follow. And those people will, sh will share amazing content. And this is the content that you should read to stay informed. With that said, thank you very much as always for watching this video please subscribe somewhere over here in the top right corner and leave a like, drop me a comment, and I will see you soon.